Hey, Gemini. Welcome to your quantum reading. <laughs> this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising. As always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Gemini. The message could be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. If you're wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website... I'm sorry, I keep saying that. If you want to check out my services, my website is linked down below. Um, or you can subscribe your email to my website. That way you will always get an email notification every time my availability opens up. Heck yes. Ooh, yeah, Gem. Yes, please. Um, you can also follow me over on Instagram. I just post more things on quantum physics and crazy things that I play around with alchemically over there. So there's that. What was I going to tell you too? Oh yes, if you do decide to jump over there and join our little community, just FYI, occasionally I get scammers. So if you get like a follow request from me or anything like that, you can always check to the description box below for reference on all my links. They're all linked down below. I have nothing other than that, which also means the only place you can access my services is through my website. And I will never DM you for readings, personal, you know, donations, nothing like that, anything. Okay. So yeah, I just don't do that. And, um, interesting. Okay. Oh, three. Okay. So yeah, let's, let's go in and dive. thank you guys for all the ways you supported the channel. Let's go ahead and dive in. Okay. Gem. So I'm seeing a bit of a situation here. Yeah. Cause we have, look, we have the nine of cups with the knight of wands. <laughs> I love that energy coming in because, okay. I feel like this is what could be happening is you are, you have this whole like spirit and fire about you. Like maybe you're even feeling the effects of the Mars energy, which is crazy. So you might be feeling very passionate, excited, um, action oriented, maybe even fiery at times, like a little spitfire of a human, you know, like that's what I've been seeing two of the Mars it could be like maybe even some impulsivity. You might be kind of unpredictable at this time because this nine of cups is kind of like, yeah, you are like, you know how to enjoy yourself. <laughs> you know, you probably are the happiest and the most excited, passionate and creative when you spend time on your own. Because maybe there's something here where you're working on something over this next week and you are fully enveloped in it. I love this. This makes me so happy. So just FYI, what's going to be coming in here is Mr. Mars. <laughs> okay. So we have over here, look, we have the two of cups. We've got the emperor. Yes. Emperor wants to be connected to you, but we also have this king of swords, which I, at first I was going to be like, okay, fascinating. All right. So I feel as though there's an emperor energy. It could be an actual Aries, but it doesn't have to be like some of you guys, it could be a business owner. Like you could be attracting an energy here and you, <laughs> you might be, that's probably why this person is totally attracted to you because you're probably like very charming, you know, and you might be even kind of like flirtatious or just maybe it's even a little bit like catch me if you can. I don't know. But whatever it is, even if you're dealing like with a boss, this person thinks that you are just like you're they want you to be involved in what they're building. They have this whole vision put together and you have like just like this thing that's perfect, maybe even captivating. Like you just have these skills and this personality that this person is really looking at, okay? They're observing it about you and noticing you and they want to be connected with you, okay? Whatever that means, they either want a friendship, 
they could want love romance. It might even be all of the above, to be totally honest, because Emperor is like, oh, whoa, here's this saucy knight of wands. <laughs> okay, so... But this person might be coming in and it might be a little bit challenging for them. They they like the chase, okay? Normally I'd be like, yikes. But this emperor is very strategic about his movements right now because like you might be so unpredictable and especially when you're just in this nine of cups. Have you ever seen like those women bathing at the river and then they like run away and it's like, you know, the Pegasus? Oh, you know, oh, it's in Hercules when he tries to, like, run after them and catch them and they all run away. It's kind of that energy I'm picking up on. Like, this person, like, they don't really know what the right approach is with you, okay? They're still trying to figure it out, but they, a part of them enjoys that because, like, you're not really being too serious and you have the Ace of Wands right here. So, this could be still semi-new, but we also have this King of Swords who's making me very interested. Okay, so I wonder if... This doesn't have to be super crazy, but these were the... I am going to pull this. We have the Three of Swords and the Two of Wands. Okay, this feels like... There's an energy over here, and for some of you guys, it's possible that it's like a third-party thing. I don't get that so much. Like, I'm not going to lie. I just see... Look, there are some pretty, like, developed energies that I feel like are coming towards you, okay? Because you have the Three of Swords and the Two of Wands. So, it could be, like, <laughs> look how I, I wouldn't normally say this. Normally, Gem, I would completely put you as the King of Swords. And that actually might be you. So, you can totally take that if that applies, but there's like this energy here that's sitting holding the Nine of Cups somewhere here. And it's either you or you're this energy. So it could be, um, if this is the situation, look, I think it's also possible that whatever is going on in this dynamic, that it could be highlighting um, some type of fragmentation, okay? Because... I feel like what's been happening in the energy is just general all around is that there's been this whole, like, just because of the past two years, which I'll keep it general like that, there's these energies of, like, Aries and Mars that are coming in and just dominating. Like, I don't know what it is. It's so freaking crazy. Like, they're coming in all accomplished. They overcome the most insane obstacles or they just, they're winning things. Like, they are outdoing a lot of different energies. And I feel as though there's been, like, this really weird dynamic that's been going on where, like, um, the Knight of Wands, like, however you fall into this position or situation, it's like, Knight of Wands is being pulled to the emperor and the king of swords is after the knight of wands and it's like this really trippy duo and the only reason i'm bringing it up also gemini is because you might fall into the mix that if you're interested in another person like your attention is being drawn there because you feel like an ignition or reignition of passion inspiration like you might be feeling very inspired by a particular energy right now there's a connection there that might be highlighting this energy of where like you weren't taking action on your dreams for a long time. Maybe you went through this extreme disappointment, like maybe you even got your heart broken or you felt betrayed. Typical, yeah, the last couple of years was crazy. So the Two of Wands is pretty much saying like, for a bit you might, so first off you might be preparing to travel Sorry, that's such an overgeneralized message, but it's showing me right there. Two of Wands can be, like, maybe a bit of a solo journey to come back together within yourself. Because this is all exciting. I'm not saying that this will or won't come together, but when you start to notice that, like, you're chasing after someone and they're chasing after someone else, there's, like, a fragmentation that's being highlighted there. And... 
it, that's probably the thing that I'm saying would be best to take a look at if that's what's happening in this reality or like in this situation in some way. Because it could be that you've abandoned yourself in some aspect. You know, like this can talk about self-betrayal. You know, your intuition kept saying to do something, but you did another. And so that's, I feel like, what's kind of being highlighted here. Okay, let me see. Six of Swords, yeah. So, very interesting. It feels kind of like this. So you have the Six of Swords and the Queen of Cups. That's good, actually. So, it feels like you could be distancing, like, you have, again, another travel card. So, it could be you're in this pro um, process right now where you're moving toward a more peaceful situation. Also, for some of you guys, you might be trying to, you might be in the process of moving toward a person who's very, like, a healer, very emotionally sensitive so it's like you're moving away from some type of process where things were kind of chaotic and there could have been a buildup that was happening there, but now you're moving toward this emotional fulfilling energy, okay? Like this compassion, you're going to get your emotions back on track, okay? There's going to be a lot of like progress that's made over here, especially after the actual transition happens, like... Maybe some of you guys are going to re a retreat or um, that totally is when there's like a catalytic energy that changes you. Like when you actually get out of the environment that's causing some kind of chaos, that's when a lot transforms for you, okay? And especially if you guys like put some permanent distance from this chaotic situation, you're going to like finally get your um, emotional restoration back okay because some of you guys if this isn't like full-on heartbreak or something like that this also could be where you felt kind of triangulated in a specific situation so that's why even for some of you guys this could be a work environment because you've got a boss here and generally if it's like you're the odd one out or, you know, this person is very charismatic. They know how to win over people because they, like, they have a lot of emotional self-fulfillment. And it also can be that you, maybe you even think they're a player or they're a bit shallow. That can be the case. But it could be that maybe you're in this energy where you've had to just be pretty meditative, you know. Um, maybe you're also very misunderstood. Like, nobody really gets you. Or you might feel that way in this particular situation. You have the Knight of Pentacles here, okay? See, that's where I was saying, like, you'll get back on track here. When you get back to a place, especially where you feel emotionally safe, watch how much progress you make. It's incredible because you'll be, you'll feel like you're on your path again. You'll feel like, ah, there I am. Like, you've... You'll feel like you discover yourself again, which is the most relieving thing in the world, I swear. So ironically, you probably will be coming into this energy yourself in not too long, okay? Yep, that's, see what I said? This has to happen first. This Queen of Cups and Knight of Pentacles, which could be other energies that you're connecting with. Like maybe these are family members or people that you feel safe and secure around. And then you have the Ten of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. That's when you're officially going to let go of a lot of energy. And it's again saying you'll be very focused on like work and producing things. Like you'll be doing very well. That's good. Eight of Pentacles is like, you're very productive, you're on track. And then you have the Judgment and the Fool. Nice. This is good. Believe it or not. Okay. So, it's almost like you might feel as though you get a second chance. <laughs> Sometimes the Judgment to me feels like... You get a second chance at life to kind of, kind of like a do-over. 
you get to go back and now you ch it's like choose your own adventure i know i've brought that up a lot in my readings but you went down this particular path and like all these things played out and you might have thought you took a wrong turn it, it really isn't like i know this is such a pollyanna way of thinking but really truly you gained so much knowledge because look you are king of the king of swords like you have you did gain some sort of self-mastery from this situation, believe it or not, because maybe it's like you learned how to conquer your mind and your presence and maybe even your emotional reactivity in the whole situation. So that's a part of the self-mastery that you were coming into is your ability to, and that's why you could have been not very understood because you could have been realizing like something was off about a situation that you went into, all right? Which is why you might be wanting to distance yourself from this energy, okay? But there's a new chapter. It's kind of like you're going to be able to go into a new adventure here. And you'll be ready for it. Once you go through this process, once you finish that all out, you'll be ready for this new beginning. Like, you'll feel renewed. Because sometimes over here, when you're getting away from the chaos, thinking about starting up a new adventure or journey can feel like hell no. <laughs> you know, because you're like, I just went through this. And I'm never doing this again. But you'll be ready over here. You'll be like feeling that urge again to go off and try something new. Okay. And you'll feel prepared for it. Because here you are releasing all the burdens of this. Getting maybe your strength on track. And your emotional maturity is on track. So it's like you'll be totally. This is going to pop in. And you'll be ready for it. Okay. So let me dive into the extended gem. If you want to join me over there. Of course course feel free go down below click on the vimeo link i'll see you over there but gem if this is where we leave things i'm sending you so much love wishing you all the very best and i'll see you in your next reading take care